Every year, billions of pairs of jeans are produced and distributed around the world. Equivalent to 2 million tons of cotton used, along with billions of liters of water to irrigate cotton crops. But when these jeans are no longer used, what do we do with them? You guessed it right. Recycling is a great way to deal with old jeans. However, things are not that simple. Cotton is notoriously difficult to recycle, requiring a long and expensive processing process. Today, we will explore the process of turning a used product into a valuable new material. Let's get started. Collection is the first step in the recycling process. Unlike other materials, old jeans are brought in from donation centers, consignment stores, or through the global recycling collection system. To combat waste, many organizations have set up jeans take-back programs, such as Levi's or H&M. These brands encourage customers to bring old jeans of any brand to their stores, and if they participate in the program, they receive a discount coupon for their next purchase. Jeans are often collected together with other types of clothing. Therefore, we need to separate them because the recycling process is different. In modern factories, optical scanning technology is used to automatically classify. Infrared optical system jeans analysis is based on the absorption and reflection of infrared light to identify the fabric material. Once sorted, the jeans are thoroughly cleaned. In large-scale factories, each wash can handle between 500 and 1,000 kilograms of fabric, while water reuse systems significantly reduce waste. Details such as buttons and zippers are also removed. These metal parts are recycled into other materials, contributing to a closed recycling cycle. Next, the jeans are fed into an industrial cutter to break them into pieces. This is an important step in preparing them for the next processing step. Jeans are usually made from denim, a thick cotton fabric, sometimes blended with polyester or spandex to increase elasticity. Denim fibers are much stiffer and more durable than other soft fabrics, so this cutter is also special. These pieces of fabric are usually two to four centimeters in size, small enough to handle but still retain the quality of the fibers. After cutting, the crusher crushes these pieces into cotton fibers, which are then baled. Because the recycled fibers are too short, they need to be mixed with virgin cotton. This step is very important. The proportion of cotton in the mixture usually ranges from 50% to 70% of new cotton, which ensures the quality of the fibers during the drawing process. The mixture is fed into a carding machine. This machine has combs that are similar to hair combs, which separate the cotton or fabric into smaller fibers and make them more uniform, the purpose of which is to make the cotton fibers loose and tangle-free. This is an important step in making the cotton fibers easier to combine and create fabric. Once the cotton or fabric has been carded, the cotton fibers are fed into a spinning machine. This machine has a very fast rotating shaft, and as the fibers are stretched, they are twisted into long, thin, strong fibers. The fibers become longer and thinner as they are stretched and twisted. This process makes the fibers strong enough to be woven into fabric. After spinning, the output is a skein of recycled fiber, ready for the next step in the manufacturing process. The recycled yarn rolls are fed into industrial weaving machines to create new fabrics. Warp yarns are inserted into the loom. These are long, strong yarns that are stretched across the entire length of the fabric. The warp yarns are wound onto shafts and stretched so that they are straight and wrinkle-free. The weft yarns are wound onto skeins and prepared to be fed into the loom. When the loom is running, the weft yarns are fed between the warp yarns horizontally. The loom uses a system called a shuttle or rapier to feed the weft yarns. The warp threads are lifted and separated, creating a gap between them, like a gate for the weft to pass through. As the warp threads are lifted, a shuttle pushes the weft through the gap between the warp threads. Once the weft has passed through, the warp threads are lowered and the weft threads are pressed into place. This process is repeated over and over again, 
with each time the loom creates a new joint between the warp and weft threads. Once the fabric has been woven long enough, it is cut and rolled into a complete roll. The quality of the fabric is thoroughly inspected to ensure it meets standards before being put into use. Recycled Jeans fabric not only retains its durability, but also has high aesthetic value, suitable for many products such as new clothes, bags, or even furniture. From the recycled fabric, designers and workers begin to create new products. This could be a new pair of jeans, a jacket, or creative products like canvas bags and shoes. Each product is not only a useful item, but also carries a message of environmental protection, reducing waste and encouraging recycling. The process of recycling jeans not only helps reduce waste, but also saves natural resources significantly. According to statistics, every 1,000 kilograms of recycled jeans can help save tens of thousands of liters of water and significantly reduce CO2 emissions. From old jeans that are no longer of any use, we can create new, creative, and meaningful products. This recycling process not only helps protect the environment, but also opens up a more sustainable future for the fashion industry. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it interesting and useful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now goodbye and see you in the next video.